Yep. So uh, I put this um, little presentation together uh, about five simple steps to business and marketing for just this class. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to go, but uh, let's go for an hour maybe and then take some questions or something like that. Okay. Okay. If you need to talk to me, um, we're on the contact page. You can talk to anybody on staff. Actually, that's a really great resource that a lot of inspectors don't take advantage of. You have about 30 people, full-time employees working at InterNACHI, and all they do all day long is work for you. You cannot afford to hire 30 people dedicated to helping you. But if you're an InterNACHI member, you can. Those people are working for you. All you have to do is visit the contact page and ask anybody at InterNACHI, what shall I do next? How can you help me? Okay. What can you do for my business? Can you give me some advice? Where should I go? Because InterNACHI's website is just overwhelming and very confusing. You know, so there's 30 people who work for you. And if, and if you don't contact them, then um, you're not taking an advantage of a membership benefit. So if you want to talk to me, though, here's my email. I love doing email. Phones, I'm not very good at phones. But email, my, my email is ben at internachi.org. And if you can't find something, I can find it for you or I can connect you with somebody who can help. So five simple steps to business and marketing. Here they are. You wanna get certified and licensed. We'll talk about certification and licensing. You wanna get trained, experienced. You need some tools and software and checklists. Step three, you gotta be profitable. So you have to calculate a profitable inspection fee. Step four, get your legal stuff in order. Step five, we're gonna do some basic marketing tasks. Those five simple steps. Business and marketing doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very simple steps. So let's, let's talk over these five simple steps. And uh, it's a good investment of your time. You don't want to invest your time or money in anything that doesn't work for you. So let's go over these five simple steps. And I'm sure you've already been in class for a little bit, but we have some policies about behavior. And let me review them. Um, students must be professional and behave in a manner that's consistent with their educational goals, right? We have to treat each other well, staff and fellow students with respect. We don't tolerate sexual harassment, racist or offensive remarks or disruptive behavior. We may require a student to leave the premises. And if you don't want to leave, um, well, we can, uh, we can get somebody to help you. Okay but I'm sure it's a great class. Here's an offer. If you wanna work with me, no, the other way around. If you want me to work with you on your business for seven days, go to that URL, nachi.org slash seven days. In fact, this presentation has a bunch of links just like that. You don't have to write them down now. If, if you wanna just email me, and request the slides that I'm going to go over so you have all the links and all the information to review later, feel free to do that. Ben at internachi.org. But if you want me to work for, with you for seven days, absolutely free, go to nachi.org slash seven days and sign up. There's no kidding. Okay. And you can download a membership guide. Everybody should have a membership guide. If you don't, all you got to do is log into your InterNACHI dashboard. You log into your account, go to any nachi.org page, top right corner, log in, and right there, scroll down and download the membership guide. It's electronic. You can also get a free copy, printed one as well. Okay, let's do those five steps, all right? Step one, get certified and licensed. There's a difference. There's a difference between certification and licensing. And I'm highly recommending you get certified in addition to being licensed. A license, 
the Florida license that says that you are a licensed home inspector, which you're going to achieve after you complete your training, that really doesn't mean anything. It, it has one meaning, really. It means that you are meeting the minimum legal requirement to perform a home inspection in that state. That's about it. It doesn't mean you're good. Doesn't mean you're gonna be successful. Doesn't mean you're gonna be here next year in business. Doesn't mean anything like that, anything important. It, all, it just means that you are, you are licensed to perform a home inspection and do the absolute minimum required to perform that home inspection. Now, who's gonna hire somebody who does the absolute minimum? No one. Who's gonna hire somebody who does the lowest bar? No one. So once you get a license, all that means is you have to start marketing. And the first thing you do in order to start marketing, which means you gotta differentiate yourself from all the other people who have a license, you have to get certified. Get certified by InterNACHI. And there's a difference between the two. A license, we already talked about that. Certification, there's three reasons to get certified by InterNACHI. One is certified professional inspector CPI logo, the CPI logo that InterNACHI provides to all certified home inspectors is a federally registration registered certification mark. No one else on the planet can say I'm a CPI unless you actually are a CPI through InterNACHI. And potential clients are right now Google searching inspectors who are professional and certified. So we took those three words for SEO optimization and keyword searches. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. People are Google searching professional inspectors who are certified in zip codes. So you have to be certified. Because InterNACHI has this huge, big spider web kind of presence on the internet. And we're collecting people who are searching for certified professional inspectors in a certain zip code and sending them not to members, but to certified inspectors who are members of InterNACHI. So you have to get certified. We send free leads to certified inspectors, okay? And it's free. So once you become certified and you have a website, InterNACHI can send you a job lead and it's up to you to convert it. You gotta pick up the phone, you gotta answer the email, maybe have online scheduling on your website. The third reason is InterNACHI's member marketing team. Remember that big staff of 30 people? Seven of them are on the InterNACHI marketing team and they only work with certified inspectors. They don't work with every member, they work with only certified inspectors. And one of the things you need to do is you got to get a logo. Remember, once you're licensed, you get, it's all about marketing. So you start with a logo. How do you get a logo? Well, you, you can download it from Google, which is a dumb idea because that's a copyright problem. You can get your cousin or your spouse to design something because uh, they took a college course. That's not going to work either. You can go to Vistaprint. They don't care about home inspectors as much as InterNACHI's marketing team. InterNACHI's marketing team only works with certified home inspectors. They know what to say. They know how to draw it. They know how to design it. And all their work is free. All you do is I would place an order for a cheap box of business cards and get them going. That triggers, that cheap box of business cards triggers them. They're going to contact you. They're going to consult with you. They're going to work with you about your brand, about your business name, about your logo, the look the color, the feel, what do you want to say? You get all that work for free. You just buy a box of business cards. And then you take that logo and the other stuff that they do for you and you put it in your marketing and your website. Okay, get certified. And you go and you get certified in addition to your licensing, remember? In addition to your licensing, you have to get certified. And there's six steps to get certified. And it's at that link. One, you pass the online examination. While you're here, if you haven't already passed the online examination, while you're here, pass the examination with somebody, okay? You can take it as many times as you want. You join InterNACHI, right? You're a member already. 
you take the code of ethics course, that's probably a 15 minute course. You take the standards of practice course, that's maybe another 15 or 30 minutes. And you mock, you do your mock inspection reports, which is a checklist. You uh, inspect the house of horrors right there four times, or you go home to, uh, if you're traveling, maybe the hotel room, or if you are nearby, you go to your house, apartment, condo, townhouse, your friend's house, wherever you're crashing tonight, and you inspect that place four times. Okay, we don't care. You have to do four mock inspection reports. They're not fee paid inspections because you're not even certified yet or licensed yet. They're just like pretend inspections. And you write those reports and you can write a report in probably 20 minutes times four, a couple hours. That's worth your time. And then you sign the agreement. Now you're a CPI. Now you're certified. Now all those things that I talked about, those reasons to be certified, start to kick in. And you get licensed later, start your certification process now. You have to do a lot of things all at the same time. So there's a difference between certification and licensing. If you log into your account, that's the first thing you see. You see the, these two blocks here, certification and licensing. There's a difference between the two. I don't want anybody confused, okay? And, uh, Let's see, we also have a Florida Home Inspector Licensing Exam. That's a state approved exam. You can take it. Ask someone there to help you take it because it needs to be proctored. Okay, step one, that's step one. Get certified, get licensed. You gotta do both. Step two is getting trained and experienced as a home inspector. If you're brand new, how do you get the best training. How do you get then experience so that you can talk to other people? You can confidently say, I've been inspecting homes for a long time, right? That's your second step. You got to get trained and experienced. How? Well, you're in the best place in the whole world for hands-on training at InterNACHI's House of Horrors. You also have, and the instructor's there, right? Juan, maybe Michael's there, Miranda's there, we're all working with you for you so you can be your best getting trained. And then you have an education team. Remember that big staff? Well, we have a half a dozen people on the education team who just work for you. And they're at education at internachi.org. Education at internachi.org. Whenever you need help with anything, training, education, licensing, certification, that's your team. You ask them, what do I do next? And they'll look you up and they'll figure out where you are and they'll help you with a plan to get to where you want to go. InterNACHI's education team. There's also a really good online course that introduces you to performing a home inspection. So you're getting hands-on training, best place in the whole world at the House of Horrors. You also have a resource when, uh, you know, when you want to do homework on your own, instead of binge watching your favorite Netflix show, right? Don't do that. You've got work to do. You have a career to build. You have a business to build. Invest one hour at night on the Introduction to Home Inspections course. You go to nachi.org education and you search for introduction and you log into the course. And it's learn at your own pace. You can go as slow as you want. You can go as fast as you want. And the goal of this course is to teach you the home inspection standards of practice. It's really important for you to know the minimum standards for performing a home inspection. It'll teach you how to perform a home inspection, the process that you have to go through to perform every, uh, to inspect every system and component of a home. It'll actually show you how our home works and how to find defects in those systems. When something doesn't work, what is it? Oh, it's a defect. And how to fix those defects as well. So you can recommend to your clients, oh, there's a hole in the roof. You need a roofer to patch the hole. That's a simple example. And also you're educating your clients about the home, right? They're moving in and they have to maintain that home. The course will teach you how to maintain a house and also how to save home energy. That's a current topic. How do you learn about business? You've got an internet marketing team, right? You got your training, you got your certification, you got your online course. We have a home inspection business course. This helps you get your mind right, right? My whole life changed when I realized I am actually a business owner who just happens to perform home inspections. 
And my goal wasn't to be the best home inspector in the world. My goal was to be a successful home inspector business owner. I wanted to make money as a business owner. And I realized also if I wanted to grow my business, there are home inspectors out there that are better than me. I'll hire them to do all the work and I'll just manage the business. You have to get your mind right. You have to be a business owner. And this is a great free online course. If you've never taken a business course, this is like a Harvard level business course right here. And it's designed specifically for home inspectors to learn how to build and grow a successful home inspection business. Okay. Talking about training, right? Now experience. How do you get experience? Well, you're going to inspect the house of horrors. You're going to inspect your own home a few times for the mock inspection report requirement, but how do you get real experience? You know, performing full, complete home inspections. Well, first you need some tools before you do your first inspection, right? You need, you need a flashlight, you need a GFCI tester, you need a voltage leak tester, and maybe some software or a checklist, okay? And that's about it. You need those four things. Flashlight, GFCI tester, voltage tester, so you don't touch a hot wire. It's really handy. And a checklist. So where do you get those tools? Inspectoroutlet.com. Okay, this is the best place. This is InterNACHI's e-commerce partner. This is the InterNACHI store. This is a great place to get a really good high lumens flashlight, a GFCI tester, a voltage tester, and also there's discounted software there. Okay, the big software companies are Home Gauge, Home Inspector Pro, Inspectora. And those vendors, we use InterNACHI size to lean on these vendors to give you discounts. It's expensive. I would say it's probably the one of the most expensive things you'll have to buy initially, but you can get a discount. You can also ask that vendor to give you a discount that may not even exist. See what they do. And then you can get gloves and indoor shoes and a respirator and knee pads and a FLIR camera and a moisture meter and gas leak. That's later. Make some money first with basic tools. Software and checklists. Uh, this is a great URL. This is a great page. We put a link to the discounted software and we have lists or checklists that you can use. So if you're interested in doing a home inspection and maybe pool inspections, we have a checklist for doing pool inspections. You can customize it. You don't have to follow it word by word. You, you take this checklist and you develop it and make it your own, right? So there's also like, um, how do you inspect an air conditioner unit? Well, here's a step-by-step -step check checklist. How do you inspect an electrical panel? That checklist is there as well, right? And then you take those checklists and incorporate it into your software. Okay, and on that page, there's actually a checklist that's free provided by InterNet. Maybe we should just go there. And it, you're gonna see this because you use this free checklist software to do your mock reports. So here's the page you're gonna see when you're ready to do your mock inspection reports. You can click that green button. And I'll show you some of mine. Um, here's one of the checklists that I, I've been using. You can work on a laptop like I'm using right now or uh, any device, a mobile device. And you can grab this software and do your mock reports while inspecting the house of horrors. You just, uh, here's exterior. I've got a couple of things. I don't have any defects. And you just click, oh, I have a cosmetic defect and you type in yada, yada. And, and then uh, let's see, oh, maybe you'd want to jump to plumbing, right? Uh, you have a, a minor defect. Um, it's a, 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 a TPR valve or something, right? Main shutoff valve. Uh, I have a major defect. Uh, the shutoff valve is leaking, right? And it's, it takes you through actually the standards of practice. It forces you to inspect all of the things that you're required to inspect according to the standards of practice. And it's a free checklist software that can go on any device. I highly recommend using that, yep. Uh, fetch report, once you, once you have clients and you have your first client and you wanna send them the report because you have software, really good software, and you wanna send them the report, use fetch report. You upload the report into the cloud 
and then you email your client, hey, click this link to download your inspection report because we don't print reports anymore. I used to, I was a home inspector for a long time. We used to print everything. Now it's just in the cloud. And this is a great free way to have your clients access the inspection reports that you write for them without having them to uh, worry about their confidential uh, information. Uh, InterNACHI doesn't take their information, okay? Hey, Ben. Yeah. When you go to websites, um, if you click on any more, can you zoom in just a little bit so people can see it in the back? You got it. Okay. Get experience. How do you get experience if you're brand new? Well, you go to another class. It's called the master class for home inspectors. And I'll take you there and then see if I can zoom in. Okay. So that's the InterNACHI master class. Nachi.org slash masterclass, one word, and you log in, click the button there, and you go to step one, let's see, step one, and you scroll down to uh, get experience. There's a little uh, link there in the menu, left side menu, it says get experience. And it goes through some information about how you can gain experience without any clients, without any risk, of making mistakes. But when you get your first client, you won't be like a bumbling fool, right? Who's, ne who's never done a home inspection before. You never wanna do that. You want to actually, one of the recommendations on this page, it takes you through the process. You inspect your home 10 times, either with InterNACHI's free software that I showed you, or um, a trial version of uh, one of the software vendors I mentioned before. Um, and you practice, practice, practice inspecting. So for example, go into a kitchen, right? A kitchen, an inspection of a kitchen, a typical kitchen should take you several minutes, five, 10 minutes at most. See if it takes you an hour, right? If it's taking you an hour to inspect a typical kitchen, something's wrong, not really wrong, but you just don't have enough experience, right? So you want to inspect without any risk, without making mistakes in the client sues you or something. So you inspect your home or your friend's home or your family's home or someone in class right now, maybe a friendly competitor and you figure out later how you can, or a chapter president, call up a chapter president, a local chapter. We've got three or four in Florida, right? Or talk to one of your instructors. Maybe you could do a ride along, right? And we have links to find inspectors who offer ride alongs. We also have a link here for the mentoring program. So. Maybe you want a mentor that maybe isn't in your zip code, right? Isn't in your same market as you so that your mentor doesn't feel like he or she is training a potential competitor and you get really good advice on what to do next in your business and your marketing and training to get experience and things like that. So we have a mentoring program and it's free and online to interact with certified inspectors. So get certified. And then you practice writing a report. You go through your software and you go into the bathroom. It's silly, but you, you have to do this. How fast, how efficient can you be in inspecting a bathroom? It should take you maybe five minutes. You run all the water and take a look and take some pictures and things like that. And you keep getting better at inspecting every system and component in a house according to the standards of practice. You get experience. And then you compare your report that you write to other other reports written by certified master inspectors. And we have that resource here. It's that link right there. We have a step-by-step, here's a start here, right? It's a step-by-step -step method of getting experience. So you perform an inspection. One of the ways you do it is perform an inspection. And then you watch a certified master inspector perform a home inspection. And then you go back and perform another home inspection on the same home. And then you go back and watch a certified master inspector perform their inspection. You go back and forth and back and forth. You have this week to get very good hands-on training at the International House of Horrors, but what about after that? So get experience by performing inspections yourself and with others. You have mentors, you have online resources, you have other competitors. You can find a friendly competitor or a chapter member. So you have resources and you have to invest 
at least an hour a night, an hour a day on this task of getting trained and experienced. Okay. So that was step two, get trained and experienced. Step three is about pricing. If you don't know how much to charge for your inspection, you're not gonna be in business very long. So you have to calculate profitable inspection fees. So remember that home inspection business course? Go to chapter 11, chapter 11 of the home inspection business course, and you go to our education page and you scroll down, let's see, and there's a, a field where you search for courses and you type in business and the home inspection business course pops right up. Hope you can see that. And you log in to the home inspection business course, click the green button and you scroll down to chapter 11 to calculate pricing. And here we have, let's see, well, I think we have inspector John, and the other slide was Inspector Mary. We have two inspectors and they're trying to figure out a profitable inspection fee. It doesn't matter if it's a home inspection or four point, a wind mitt, anything, septic, pool, you have to figure out if it's profitable or not. So then when you pick up the phone or you answer an email or you confirm an online scheduling, you know that this is worth doing. If it's a three or four or five hour job, You've already calculated your prices, so you feel confident that you can pay your salary. You know, you, you, this is part of math. How much money do you want to make a year, right? How much overhead do you think you're going to have, right? And what are your expenses and things like that? And how much profit do you want to make, right? These factors, it's all about math. It isn't about what Juan Garcia is charging or Michael Meeker is charging, what's Michael Meeker? Or maybe I should charge the same. It's all about you and what you need to make to pay the bills and go on vacation and do good things in the world and your bills and also profit, profit margin. And it's all about math. Once you get the math done, once you figure that out using the business course, chapter 11, now you're ready to go. Now you know that every job you do is gonna give you salary, pay the bills, and give you some profit. Now you're gonna be all set to stay in business. One of the best ways to increase gross revenue is to do more inspections per client. So when you go to a home inspection, you're not just making your home inspection fee, which is profitable, right? But you're gonna increase the gross revenue by adding ancillary or additional types of inspections. So if you do a home inspection for 400 bucks, great. What about a pool inspection? Maybe your client isn't even thinking that you could do a pool inspection. So you offer that, you market that service and you bundle it. Maybe the pool inspection is hundred bucks. Your home inspection is 400 bucks, that's 500 bucks. Give them a discount, right? 450 if you bundle both. Now you're making additional gross revenue per client. And how do you get trained and certified in these additional types of inspections? You go to nachi.org slash certification, nachi.org slash certification. Again, email me for these slides so you can have the links. And on this page, we have a ton of certifications and they're all free. They're all accredited training and certification programs because InterNACHI school is a college. So all of these are accredited. Here's WinMIT. You're going to have to do that, right? There's a lot of stuck in Florida. You should, you should know about HVAC, especially the air conditioning part. So get trained and certified in ancillary inspections so that you can offer more opportunities for your client to give you more money, essentially, right? Get trained and certified in additional types of inspections. That was step three. So step one, get certified, get trained, uh, sorry, get certified and get licensed. Step two is get trained, experienced. You need some tools and some software. Step three is pricing, calculate a profitable fee using the examples of Inspector John and Inspector Mary. Step four is legal. You gotta get your legal stuff in order, right? First thing is if you're not incorporated, get incorporated. 
and the internet actually can't do that for you, you should probably get a CPA or a local business attorney, someone who can help you incorporate because you have to protect yourself. You don't want to be responsible for your business's work because if you make a mistake, you're personally responsible. That's no good. You want the corporation to take that responsibility, right? So we have this article for you written by InterNACHI's legal team. Now what? Now when, what I want to be a home inspector. Now what do I do? You have to incorporate. You also need insurance in Florida. And InterNACHI insurance is a great resource. You can get a quote and compare it with other insurance companies. And that's at natchiorg slash insurance. There's an inspection agreement system that InterNACHI provides to all certified inspectors. It's online through your dashboard. And it's the agreement between you and your client. And it has to be written just right so that you are setting your client's expectations. They're not expecting you to do miracles and see through walls and find all defects. You don't have to find every defect. You're not required to find all the problems in the home. And that and agreement should be read and agreed to by your client, right? So there's an agreement that can be customized for your business and it's free and online and it's an electronic system. So when you have a job scheduled from your website, you send an agreement to your client about the services that you're going to provide because you're going to do a home inspection and maybe ancillary services and total it up and your client signs it electronically with their finger. They can do it on their phone and sends it right back to you. And you manage this for free through your InterNACHI dashboard. Don't step on any property without getting an agreement signed because it protects you. It sets up the expectation and it also protects you, reduces the risk of you getting sued. And don't worry about getting sued. It's rare that somebody gets, a home inspector gets sued. There's very few stories of legal complaints about home inspectors. I was taken to small claims court. I had all of my legal documents in order because I had my local business attorney help me. They're expensive, but I sleep well at night. And when I got to small claims, I won in about five minutes. Somebody was complaining that I didn't find the cat urine in the padding underneath the carpeting. And when my client moved in, they replaced the carpeting and they got this smell, right? And the seller didn't say anything about a cat living in the house. So my, I had my standards of practice, I had my inspection agreement, I had my inspection report, I had pictures, and I was done in, in and out in about five minutes. Didn't hardly cost me anything. Don't worry about complaints. Worry about you not doing the legal things that you need to do before you do your first inspection. Get your legal documents in order. And it actually has a ton of resource, resources for you, including YouTube videos. Sounds silly, but we got our attorneys to sit in front of a camera and talk to you about what you need to do before you do your first inspection. What legal documents you need to get in order before you do your first inspection. Okay, so get your legal stuff in order. They provide tips on reducing your liability, about insurance, about the agreement system and things like that. And they're on YouTube videos. You have to take some time, invest in this, learn a few things, and then you can find a, a real human being, right? In your, in your local area, get some real good legal advice. That was step four, legal. Step one, get certified get licensed. Step two, get trained, get experienced. Step three, pricing. Step four, legal. Step five, basic marketing. Do these basic marketing things. The license isn't going to make you successful. It's all about marketing. So do the, do the following basic marketing tasks. And then later on, you can do the, some advanced things. Like you can add a pop-up on your website or a live chat feature on your website, or you can do uh, uh, like presentations at large. Well, I'll show you how to do a presentation. I'll, I'll show you some resources, but do these first basic marketing things. Okay, here we go. Get a domain, right? So if you're thinking about a business right now, a domain is um, 
yourcompany.com, bigbeninspections.com, internachi.org is a domain, fastsiteforyou.com is a domain. And then you want to look professional in your communication. So you have to spend some money, just a few dollars a month, get a professional email based on that domain. So I'm Ben at internachi.org. Internachi.org is the domain. I registered an email through Google Workspace email. I can help you with that. Ben at internachi.org or Ben at bigbeninspections.com or Alicia at fastsiteforyou.com. I'll show you what fastsite for you is. So if you have a domain, great, awesome. Then get a website, that's next. If you don't have a domain, go to this URL, domains.google.com. Let's go there now. This is really important. So if you have a domain, this is great. If you don't, just go right here. It's a lot of fun. How about Miranda's Home Inspection? Let's see if something pops up. Ah, Miranda's Home Inspection.com. I can get it for $12 a year, a dollar a month. I can register my domain. And then I tell my local business attorney, I want a business incorporated under that name, Miranda's Home Inspections. Okay. So that's domain and that's email based upon that domain. What do you do next in the basic marketing tasks? Domain email, logo. And I talked to you about the Internet G marketing team. They work for you. Get a logo designed by them by ordering a box of business cards. You're going to need those business cards anyways. You're going to have to order them from somewhere. Order them from Internet G's marketing team and then get a free logo designed and all the other stuff. They design the business card as well. And all that business card design work is free. You don't pay for the design work. Then you take that logo and you put it on your website. What if you don't have a website? You get a website here, natchi.org slash website, natchi.org slash website. And fastsite for you, fastsiteforyou.com is InterNACHI's official vendor for websites, for inspectors. And they only work with InterNACHI inspectors. And the total price is $279. $279 for a design team to work on your website and get it up in five days. Now you have a logo, you have legal things, you're trained to certify it, and now you got a domain, now you got a website designed, and now you're ready to make money. You have to have a website. I am shocked how many people get trained, get certified, get licensed, do all this stuff and don't get online. No one does anything without checking out the website first. I don't go, I don't take my wife out to the restaurant unless I see the restaurant website and I check out the menu and I wanna see what I'm gonna eat. Same thing with home inspectors. A website just confirms that you exist, that you're trained, you're certified, you're professional, you are indeed an inspector, you offer services, your marketing looks nice, and now that website is to do one thing and one thing only, get them to hire you. So you need somebody to design a website with that brutal fact in mind. That website isn't about educating homeowners or real estate agents about what is a home inspection? It ain't about, it ain't about us. No one cares about you. All they want to do is confirm that you're a certified professional inspector. You, it looks like you play the part and they want to hire you. How do they hire you? You need a website that's designed to get you jobs. Go to natchiorg slash website. Then this is a basic marketing test, but it's all written out here. Seems like a lot. Don't get overwhelmed. You want to go back into your natchi.org internachi dashboard and update your profile. Update your profile with what? With your domain, with your logo that you got and your domain, your website domain and your phone number, your email, your address and the zip codes. You wanna enter the zip codes where you're working. Why do you do all this? Because you want 
someone to schedule a job with you. So InterNACHI, again, has this web spider web presence on the internet. And we're going to find those people who are Google searching for a certified professional inspector in a zip code. And we're going to direct them to your website. We're not going to direct them to your phone or your email. We're going to direct them to your website. And you can actually watch that. You can track that, those analytics from your website, but you need a, a, from your dashboard, your internet dashboard, but you need a website. Okay. That's why it's important. You're going to get free inspection job leads. That's all we do all day long for internet members who have a website. We push people who are searching for home inspectors to you. And then it's up to you to convert. So make sure you get ready to answer the phone, answer the email, or confirm an online scheduling that's coming from your website. The phone should ring. Your website should be scheduling jobs for you. So that was step five. Step one, get certified, get licensed. Step two, get trained, experience. Step three, pricing. Step four, legal stuff, get all that stuff in order. Step five, do some basic marketing. And then at this point, you should be able to make some money. Oh, it takes a while to the point where you're going to be making some money, but it's well worth it because you can make a great living doing this. I loved being a home inspector for a dozen years. I made a lot of cash, bought a house, had a family, and now I'm telling others what they need to do in order to be successful. You can be on your own as a successful home inspector, or you can start to grow your business as well, but you got to do these basic things. And I try to lay them out in five simple steps. And it, it isn't very difficult to understand. What is difficult is motivating yourself to do it. So if you've got that, I would say if you've got the time, if you have time to be on social media, you have time to do one of the most important things in your life, which is to be a successful business owner. Remember, it isn't about being a great home inspector. You don't have to be the best home inspector. You have to be a successful business owner and doing these five steps. Well, it's pretty good. These five steps, these are simple to understand, easy five steps to get you from zero to 60, to get from zero, no experience, trying to be a home inspector to actually scheduling a job as soon as you're done with all step, all five steps. Okay. If you want to talk to me informally over some coffee, um, I go to events, but it's hard to meet people face to face, like a hundred people. I'm having coffee June 8th, virtually, and you can register, um, natchi.org slash webinars. I'm buying coffee for the first, I don't know, a couple dozen people who register and that may have already happened, but come anyways. And we'll talk informally about business. I want to hear how are the five steps going? Okay. You should be completed by the five. You should have completed the five steps by then, by June 8th. You should have a website. That's the first thing I'm going to do actually. Hey, how's it doing? Uh, let me see your website. Let's see it. Okay. Natcha.org slash webinars for state specific information, Florida specific information, like the Florida standards of practice. There's a Florida standards of practice. There's a, a license. There's an exam. There's an insurance requirement. Go to natcha.org slash Florida. If you want to present in front of real estate agents, that's what I did. Um, I got most of my business from real estate agents, um, mid to top producing real estate agents who just loved us, right? And we give you resources and guidance on how to present, connect with real estate agents in your area. Mentoring, where I talked about, you're not alone. You have mentors. We have a couple hundred mentors online and they've all agreed to volunteer their time. They're certified master inspectors, veteran inspectors, and they, they want to just give back. That's a great resource. There's also a community, an online forum and message board. Sometimes it's kind of like the Wild West. If you have thick skin, that's great. But you can find some people who want to talk to you about or answer your questions. That's a great place for a resource there. And then we have chapters. So go to natcha.org slash chapters and find a Florida chapter near you. And you have staff support. You can call up anybody or email anybody on staff and ask them any question like, what should I do next? 
right? Because it could be overwhelming. I forgot the five steps. What am I supposed to do? What's step four? Okay. And then network with local inspectors. This is a great way to rub elbows with people who may know more than you, or maybe not. Maybe you could teach them something, but at least you can gauge where you are and call somebody outside your market so that they feel free to talk to you about things that are state specific too. Hey, what's going on? What about this weather event coming up? What are you going to do after that? Are you working with insurance companies who need feet in the field in order to quickly evaluate the damage? That's a good opportunity there. You can't do that alone. It's very difficult, I would say. You can get there faster if you can network with some friendly folks, inspectors, in other parts of the state. And then don't miss out on the latest news. There's always something juicy going on at Internachi, and we only put the last two weeks in the newsletters. So grab that latest information by subscribing to the newsletter at homeinspectornewsletter.com, homeinspectornewsletter.com. If you're driving around, we got a podcast, Home Inspector Pocket, search for it on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. We have webinars. These are free, live, online, interactive webinars, just like this one. And we go through like, how do you perform a home inspection? Or what about marketing and, and, and business? So your homework is to email me. If you want the slides, if you want the links in the slides, um, email me, ben at internet.org and start working on the five steps described here, especially the marketing steps. There's, there, there's always time to work on your marketing. Even your certified master inspectors, you ask them, when do you work on marketing? It's always. There's always something to do when you're in business for yourself. That's what makes it fun. So don't be overwhelmed. There's always someone available to you. We have a ton of resources for you. We have everything you need to be successful. And I want you to have a great time at the House of Horrors and talking to your instructors. And uh, I wanna thank you as well. It's an honor to, to speak to everybody and present. Um, Miranda, I don't know if you wanna end it or if there are any questions, uh, I'm available, whatever you wanna do. Does anyone have any questions for Ben? All right, I'm gonna have you come up here then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben, we have some questions. Yep. Can you see me, bro? Oh, actually, no. that might be helpful. Okay, hey, how you doing? Good. Oh, you're gonna put it on, she's gonna do her. I'm a hey, doctor, I can't help you there. Raziel DeMello, how you doing? Real good, real good. All right, uh, my question is, so just a quick background about me. Uh, it's my first time, like I, I got some construction background. I don't know anything about home inspections, you know, so, but I got the kind of spirit, like I was a 1099 contractor. I got the kind of spirit that uh, wants to tell, you know, the boss to go fuck himself, to be honest. Yeah. With you. So I just, I got to be free. You know what I mean? I tried the Navy. It didn't work out. I tried the army. It didn't work out. I just realized I got to be me. So yeah. long story short, I got five kids. I got a wife. I can't fuck this up. But I also looked online. There were like 90% of people before two years. <laughs> Go down the drains who try all right and I, I looked at this data and i was like i can't fail and i love juan and his fire he lit a fire into my ass and i really yep. want to be successful yep. so I'll do whatever you guys say and i wrote everything down and i'm very driven even though i look kind of like like i'm not but i am <laughs> um so i'm just trying to honestly get a feedback from a guy who's done this for 12 years if i do all the things you said that i do yep. will i be successful or will my family not have food on the table right Right. So there's always, when you go into business, I mean, there's, there's, you can make, if you wanted to make a good living, you find a good job and then you're done. Then you can answer that question, right? Tonight, you know, you can answer that question tonight. If you just find a job on indeed or monster.com and get a good job and get the bills paid and you can have food on the table. So there's a little bit of risk, right? If you want to make a great living, and you want to define that great living by yourself, there's some risk involved and it's all on you. So for me, that was always, I've been a very poor man in my life, very poor, but I, I had, uh, 
I had a determination like you are communicating to never give up. The problem for me 30 years ago was I had no resources or mentors or certified master inspectors looking over my shoulder. So you're surrounded by the resources you need to be highly successful, I would say. Now you just need to take advantage. The, that stat of people failing, we know why. They don't take advantage of the resource. We can see their activities that we can, that we can track at InterNACHI, especially their education and the marketing and the other things that they do. They don't do them, right? Um, so a lot of people who fail within the next two years will simply love Netflix more than being a business owner. Like, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm the head of InterNACHI, right? I'm the CEO, COO of InterNACHI. Look what I have on my desk. This is no, this is nothing. I just got this today, right? This is what I do. So I don't watch TV. This is what I do. Marketing made simple. Where's my other one? Oh, my other one's at the kitchen table. I was reading it today. I mean, what's, what's TV going to do for me, right? Nothing. Just enjoying other people's lives. So you have two choices. You can have a good living right now and support everybody and have food on the table. That's admirable and honorable and it's something every head of the household needs to do. I was one, I am one. Or you take that risk and you balance it and you try to figure out how to do it yourself. And there's a little bit of risk involved. It's not great risk, it's a little bit because you have everything that you need surrounding you and you just have to make it work and work on it every day. So that's my advice to you. Thank you. All right, brother, thank you, appreciate it. Yep. All right, and then we have one more. Okay. Hi, Ben. My name is Mayu. Um, I have a question. You talked about the licensing versus um, certifi certifying or certifications. Um, so as I understand it, if I take my Florida state exam, I'll be licensed in Florida. Uh, what about all the InterNACHI certifications? Are they like federally recognized? Because I might be moving to another state and then want to kind of transfer my license. But what about my certifications? So the certifications are nationally accredited certifications. So InterNACHI is a college and those courses, all the courses and the Home Inspector Certificate Program, they're nationally accredited. We're in a university. So if you are going to a state, those accreditations should be recognized. If, there, if there's a, a, a state licensing body, they may recognize certain other things or a combination of courses. So our presence is strong in every state and province in some countries actually. So no matter what you do in Florida, we have every piece of the puzzle you need. And if you go to another state, you have your education team to figure out what you need to do in that state as well. And we can prep you before you move, before you jump, we can tell you exactly what you're going to have to do in that state. It could be very easy. It could be as regulated as Florida, but no matter what, InterNACHI is recognized all over the nation and in every state, and especially in Florida, we have every piece of the puzzle. Okay, thank you. All right, anyone else? Nope, we are all good. Thank you, Ben. Great job, Mo. Great job, Juan. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Again, I'm available. I'm on the contact page. Bye. Bye. <laughs>